is good morning students conversion of that galvanometer into an ammeter what is that the galvanometer it measures the very sensitive currents small currents so here uh, in the, in the from the galvanometer how you are converted into the ammeter ammeter measures the, the big currents so here large current so here, this is that ammeter is uh, measures the big one how you are converted into this sensitive galvanometer into ammeter so now i am observing suppose uh, when i am just i am taking as a galvanometer here then suppose that you are adding that is the shunt shunt to the parallel to this galvanometer moving coil galvanometer moving coil galvanometer then it is a called which one it is a uh, it is a converted into that uh, galvanometer it is converted into the galvanometer is converted into the ammeter so here suppose that shunt what is the shunt here it is having that very 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 less zero in the ideal case and it is at the very small resistance that is a called which one shunt suppose if you are adding to the shunt here then what happened suppose when you are sending the current then what happened the, through that suppose it is a very less resistance comparing to this this is a very less that's why the all the current moving from the shunt only so here yeah, this galvanometer is now safe side so here suppose that ig current passing through the galvanometer then the remaining current i am sending the i current so here the remaining current is i minus ig is moving from that the shunt then what happens all the current most of the current is moving from the shunt only then the galvanometer is a safe side but uh, how you are measuring this uh, i or that uh, how much shunt you are adding uh, that formula is you are adding is a what here parallel to parallel you are adding the shunt so here what is the formula for this uh, this uh, formula is nothing but suppose that the galvanometer resistance is a g and that uh, the resistance is s then what happened it is a parallel in parallel the voltage is a voltage is the same voltage is the same so here v is equal to same from this what is the v ig into g what is the voltage here i minus ig into s that i am writing as a here i minus ig into s is equal to ig into g from this how much shunt you required for that for the measuring the i current that formula you are taking as i minus ig this side then what happened s is equal to ig by i minus ig into g this is shunt if you are adding then this i current is measuring from this so here yeah, this is that uh, that uh, conversion of galvanometer into an ammeter